There's a king that has the authority. The president could call anybody. And it's okay. I review your case. You have been sent into prison. Lifetime imprisonment is the final authority in the nation. There's a king in the nation. They can say, I pardon you. Here comes the King of Kings. Here comes the Lord of Lords. Whatever the accusation of Satan against your life, whatever sin made you to be in captivity, the word of the King comes to you. Your sins that are many are all forgiven. He has the right to do that as a king. He has the authority to do that as a king. The heavenly father has invested that authority and final word in Jesus. That's why he says that all your sins are forgiven. And tonight, as he comes to you, tonight, as he announces to you, for the word of the king, your sins are forgiven. Somebody there said your sins are forgiven. And tonight, Night is that night. Power over sea. Number two, power over darkness. All the powers of darkness in your life. Everything tonight, Christ has power. And it comes to you. And when those evil spirits, when they seem coming to your life, come into your room, come into your house, before you open the door, you get it. They say the king is coming. The king of light. The king of power. The king of all authority. And he enters with you. They all flee away. I said they all flee away. He has power over sin. He has power over darkness. He has power over the curse. Every curse in your life. Did you hear what Jesus said? All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Wherever that curse came from, if it came from the sky, Christ has power. If it came from the sea, Christ has power. If it came from the land, Christ has power. I rejoice with you tonight. The cause in your life is taken away in Jesus' name. Power over the demons. You know evil spirits? You know familiar spirits? You know mommy water spirits? You know bush spirits? You know ancestral spirits? You you know, all those evil spirits that do evil and havoc. And they have some power. Power to torment. Power to confuse your life. Power to disorganize your life. Here comes Christ tonight. I said, here comes Christ tonight. And he announces to you. He said, all those demons will pack their clothes. They will go. Because all power is given unto him. He has power over the enemy. Enemies that operate in the dark. Enemies that operate in secret. Enemies that operate their evil whatever in the secret. He has all the power tonight. And they will cancel everything they have done in your life. Power to forgive. Power to save. Power to heal. Power to deliver. And power to keep you. Once he heals you tonight, the power to keep that healing. Power to save. Once he saves you tonight, the power to remain in that salvation. A power to protect. Tonight, blessing coming upon your life. And that blessing will be permanent in Jesus' name.
Because he's king. The king of kings and the lord of lords. And as the king of kings and the lord of lords. Already has assured us. That he has the mighty power. And he said all that power. Is given unto him. Both in heaven and in earth. And now he tells us. He says he's the king of kings. And the lord of lords. He's the king of kings. And the lord of lords. And then he says there are people. Who are going to taste of this power. They're going to experience of this power. There are the people that follow Jesus. I accept him. I believe him. I come to him. I surrender to him. And I follow him for the rest of my life. He said, all those people that accept him. Thank you, Jesus, I accept. Somebody there, I accept. Somebody there, I accept. He said, all the people that believe him. And I tell him tonight, Lord Jesus, I believe. Somebody there said, for yourself. I believe Jesus is my king. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Savior. He will redeem you. He will forgive your sin. He said all those people that follow him. And you say, Jesus, I follow. I'm going to follow you all through my life. He says, then you are going to taste my power. And it's going to destroy every other contrary power in your life. Number one is the majestic power of the risen Christ. I come to point number two now. Point number two is the mighty power. The mighty power of our reigning conqueror. Tonight, as Christ reminds you, he came unto his soul and he spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He comes to reign in your life. He said he reigns in heaven because all power in heaven is given unto him. He reigns on earth because all power on earth is given unto him. He reigns as a conqueror. He conquers Satan. He conquers sickness. He conquers evil spirits. He conquers sin. He conquers enemy. He conquers your enemy. And he comes to reign on rival. He, care, he comes to reign without any opposition. He comes to reign unequaled, unparalleled. Already he's reigning in heaven. And he wants to reign in your heart today. And he's saying, I'm standing at the door of your heart. I'm knocking. And if anyone will hear my voice and open the door, he says tonight, he will come in. And he comes in as a conqueror. He comes in as a reigning conqueror. And he will conquer every evil sin in your life in Jesus' name. He reigns in heaven. He reigns on heart. He wants to reign in your heart. He wants to reign in your life. He reigns in eternity. He wants to reign over here in time. He reigns to conquer the stranger. There's a stranger that came to your life. It's a usurper. And he came to take the place of the ruler in your life. But he rules to ruin. He wants to destroy you. And the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the one that has the power to destroy the devil. He comes to conquer the stranger in your life. He comes to convert your soul. And tonight he says, the change you cannot make for yourself. I want to make that change in your life. He will make the change in your life. 
life tonight. As you come and say, Lord Jesus, I come. I surrender to you. I give myself to you. I will not hold anything back. The past was dark. The future is going to be bright. I'm looking for somebody there. I said, I'm looking for somebody there. Your future will be bright. All the darkness of the past, Christ has come. He will conquer the powers of darkness. And then he will drive away all those destroyers of your prospects. And then he says, Light has come. Prosperity has come. Goodness has come. The mercy of God has come. And the release has come. Because it comes to convert your soul. And you surrender that soul to him. Change me. Transform me. Forgive me. Turn my life around for the better. It comes, number one, to conquer the stranger. It comes, number two, to convert your soul. It comes, number three, to kill your sicknesses. It comes to kill all your sicknesses. Did you hear what the word of God said? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing and healing and healing and healing, and healing all is coming to your side. It's coming to your side. It's coming to you over there. It will heal you tonight. I said it will heal you tonight. It will heal that brain problem. It will heal that cancer. I want to hear a shomolu amen over there. They want to heal that tuberculosis. HIV AIDS, it wants to heal you tonight. Sikul said he wants to heal you tonight. Oppression, he wants to deliver you tonight. It comes to cure all sicknesses. Somebody said, can he do it? All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And there's a power to cure every sickness. There's a power to release you and to set you free. And tonight you are free in Jesus' name. And there's a power to cast out evil spirits. Evil spirits that confuse your mind. They want to re you to remove your clothes and become naked. They want you to jump in front of a, a moving vehicle and be killed. They want you to enter into fire. They want you to fall into the river. Evil spirits want you to commit suicide. And the Lord has come to set you free tonight. Freedom. 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 Somebody is getting free there tonight. Where is he there? All power coming in your life. All power that to destroy the enemy. All power that to destroy evil. All power that to bring joy into your life. Your life will never be the same again. Because Christ has come. And he comes to you. And he's talking to you. And he said, do you know? I have the power to set you free tonight. Jesus is talking to you. I have the power to save you tonight. Jesus is talking to you. I have the power to reverse all those negative things in your life tonight. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And look at what he said. He came to the synagogue and he gave him the book to read. And here is what he read in Luke chapter 4. Here from verse 18, he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. And to preach deliverance to the captives. And the recovering of sight to the blind. And to set at liberty 
them that are bruised. What else are we waiting for? There is healing. There's deliverance. There's relief. There's blessing. Every negative thing will be turned around. And he tells us, it is to announce, it is to proclaim, it is to tell us the acceptable year of the Lord. And then, and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister. And he sat down. And then, and all the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fasting on him. You look at him tonight, salvation will come. You look at him tonight, healing will come. You look at him tonight, deliverance will come. And he began to say unto them, this day, this day, I am blessed today. This day, you are healed today. This day, you are delivered today. This day, power is coming in your life. This day, is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. The power of Christ. The power of the ready conqueror. It will reign in your life from tonight. Reign, Master Jesus. Reign, conqueror Jesus. Reign in my heart. Reign in my family. Reign on my body. Reign in my destiny. Today, you can hand over your life into the hands of Christ. Then they begin to reign as a rainy conqueror in your life. Anything that comes against your life from tonight, as you fully, finally, totally surrender your life to Christ, you will reign as a conqueror in your life tonight in Jesus' name. And it will make you more than a conqueror. Because nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us and gave himself for us. Number one is the he has majestic power. The majestic power of the risen Christ. Number two, the mighty power of our reigning conqueror. Number three now, the manifold power of our redeeming captive. You know what we're told in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 10? He says, he has made the captain of our salvation perfect through suffering. After that suffering on the cross, after the sacrifice on the cross, after the crucifixion to the cross, after the death on the cross, he became a perfect substitute, a perfect sin bearer, the perfect sacrifice, and the perfect savior, and he becomes the captain of salvation. And it's the captain of salvation that now redeems us. And tonight he redeems us. Tonight he redeems you. And tonight he sets you free. Who are the people that he will set free? I said who are the people that will set free? You see, there are some people they come like this. They say, well, he's talking to those people that came for the first time. Of course, I'm talking to them. They say, it's coming, he's talking to those young people. Of course, I'm talking to them. He's talking to those sinners. Of course, I'm talking to them. He's talking to the people who are sick. Of course, I'm talking to them. But I'm also talking to you. Number one, he's talking to the repentant captives. Repentant captives. Look at Peter. And look at him. He had denied Christ. Look at him. He had been captivated by his fear. And then somebody said, You are one of them. He said, uh, uh, no, I'm not one of them. I'm not a believer. I'm not a follower of Christ. I'm not going to reign with Christ. He came into captivity. And 